Well, the classic story known as A Wrinkle in Time is coming to Chattanooga by way of the Chattanooga Theater Center, all kicking off this weekend. Here to give us the details are Scott and Joanna. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having us. Happy all right. To be here. Before we dive into A Wrinkle in Time, I want you to give us a little bit of information on the Chattanooga Theater Center. Uh, well, we've been around for over 95 years. Uh, we're getting ready for our 95th birthday. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're a community theater. We, uh, we have people from our community that produce plays in conjunction with a staff uh, that helps design and implement those plays. And um, I've actually been there for 20 years myself. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I love Chattanooga Theater Center because it is such a great representation of the talent we have in our community. Joanna, you're a great example of this. Tell us about your relationship with the theater center. I have done, been performing there since about 2008, wow. um, and I, a lot of the shows that I've performed in have been directed by Scott, so I really enjoy working with him. Um, I'm not sure what number of shows this is I've done, but this is the very <laughs> first time that I've performed with the Youth Theater, mm -hmm. and it's been a wonderful experience so far. So if someone's not familiar with the story of A Wrinkle in Time, someone go ahead and lay out the story for us, without giving anything away, of course, but get us familiar. Do you want to tell? Well, it's about a young girl, a 13-year-old girl named Meg Murray and her little brother, Charles Wallace. Um, I'm playing Dr. Catherine Murray, mm -hmm. their mother, and I'm a scientist, and their hus my husband, their father, is also a scientist. And we've been researching the concept of a tesseract, which the book describes as essentially the fifth dimension, mm -hmm. and it's a way of traveling through different worlds and universes. And at the start of the play, um, their father has been missing for about almost a year, I think, and nobody really knows what happened to him. So these three witches show up and take the children on a journey, and I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> but can, uh, That's a good tease. I yeah. like it. <laughs> um, so you mentioned that it is part of the youth theater program, this particular performance is. What has it been like putting this together? It's, it, first of all, I love working with the kids. I've been the youth theater director for about five seasons. Um, I've, it was my first job when I first came back uh, to Chattanooga. I was the youth theater designer. Uh, I designed the sets and costumes. And I've worked in all sorts of areas at the theater and have finally landed here as the youth theater director. And working with kids is amazing. They, first of all, they're learning so much. And to see them learn right in front of you and figure things out. Um, there's a lot of things that theater teaches kids. Uh, teamwork, mm -hmm. um, it is like a sport. Everybody has to have their position and play in order for mm -hmm. it to work. And empathy, and uh, that your words matter, and that you should know your words, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and use your words, all of those things. So it's, it's great working with kids. And um, Joanna, obviously, he's not a kid. But th for this show, we've opened it up. Occasionally, we'll do this and have adults work with the kids. And that way, the kids kind of get to learn behavior, uh, proper mm -hmm. behavior, the way to, to act backstage, and how to you know, set your props and your costumes and stuff like that, working with adults. And I think the adults kind of learn from the kids, too. Oh, yes. Yeah. What's it been like? They are so professional. I mean, I'm amazed. They really have impressed me. And, and I mean, I've been doing shows for a while. And I'm backstage. There's a lovely young lady, Lyndon, that I go on stage with at one point, and I think I've asked her at least three times, "What line do we go out on again?" <laughs> and she's very, very patient with me. So, yeah, I mean, they are on it. Like they've really impressed me. I always enjoy watching any type of youth performance because their professionalism does show through. Their maturity does show through, um, and it gives me a renewed hope in our future. I don't know about y'all, but not to get too deep. Um, so, tell us the information we need to know about being able to catch this performance. Um, you can get tickets at the door, or you can buy them online at theatercenter.com, um, or you can call our box office, which is 267-8534. How many performances do we have the opportunity to see? There are four performances. It opens this Saturday and closes uh, November 11th, the 11th. All right, perfect. I know that's a tongue twister it to say. Is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so A Wrinkle in Time is starting this weekend through the 11th. Um, without giving too much away of what we can look forward to the rest of the season, do you have any ex thing you're excited, um, anything you're excited about coming on later through the year? the rest of the season? We have already cast a Charlie Brown Christmas, which opens uh, in December. And we have the upcoming Once on this Island, which is currently on Broadway. Oh, wow. Um, so the, the Youth Theater is doing that as well, which is kind of fun to do something that's currently that's featured exciting. on Broadway. And I do want to mention that um, kind of like an annual ticket is available if someone wants to catch all these performances or multiple. Is that information available online? Absolutely. You can subscribe online or talk to Wayne in our box office. All right. Scott and Joanna, thanks for joining us. Best Thank of you. luck in your performances. Thank you so much. All right. So get your tickets for A Wrinkle in Time that is going to be kicking off this Saturday.